Now, on the worksheet, the deck picker will not fire up unless you specify or name the target range as either a date or time range. So, to call the date picker from this column, I need to give it a date name. To do this, I will click on the formulas tab, then click on the define names menu. If you do that, the name manager window will pop up. Next, click on the new button. This is where we define names. You can define the name however you want, but what's important is to put an underscore and then write the word date at the end. In my case, I will write purchases underscore date. So this is how you define a date range. Please don't forget that. It's up to you whatever you write right here. But this part is mandatory. It defines a date range. Our date picker looks for this phrase as it scans all your defined names. If it finds it, it will give you the date launcher. The next important thing is the scope. This should always match the worksheet name. As for me, I'm on the purchases worksheet so I must select Purchases. We are lowering the scope to worksheet level to save time. That is, in case you have a lot of names in your workbook. So this tells the system to scan only names that are on the Purchases worksheet. Again, this is important, don't forget that. If you leave the scope on the workbook level, it won't work. Next, let's specify the range. On the Refer to section, click on this button and then drag your mouse on the range you want your date icon or launcher to appear. As for me, I'm using tables, so I can just point to the date column. I love tables because they are very flexible. As the column size increase or decrease, my named range will scale accordingly. When done, click this button again and then press the OK button. That's it. This time if I click on any cell in the defined range, the system will figure out that this is a date range and then give it the ability to launch the date picker. I will teach you how to insert a date icon of your choice later in this tutorial. Now, watch what happens when I select any cell in the date range. As you can see, you get this standard date or calendar icon. If you click on it, a date picker will be rendered to you. You can then use it to change and apply the date accordingly. Now this will work on all the cells within the specified range. And if you select an undefined range, the date launcher will disappear. This is good because we don't want our date picker to interfere with cells that have nothing to do with the dates or to interfere with derived dates. For example, the dates you see right here are derived by a formula depending on what is selected on the report criteria at the top. For this reason, I wouldn't want to define this column as a date column. So, the ability to define a date range gives you full control of your workbook. Plus, you will always know that you are working with a tool that respects your decisions and not a tool that pops up even when not needed. <music>